Yes. What is something good to say to someone who's grieving or someone who's lost someone? Well, one of the things I fall back on that feels genuine is, um, I don't really know what to say, but I want you to know that I'm I'm here for you, and you know I, I want to think about what I can do that would be helpful, and I'm happy to just sit with you quietly, or I could help you with these errands or help with child care, but letting them know that you're there and you can tolerate listening to the stories or just sitting with them. Right. And what if you can't tolerate it? If you can't tolerate yes, it. Yes, because the As people the who friend. move away yes. well, when it's too difficult. Right. That is really hard for the griever to feel kind of abandoned by people because they can't tolerate it. Mm. So it's important to have a range of friends or family okay. members. Maybe some are better at doing the errands and some mm -hmm. are better at doing the listening. Mm -hmm. And some are doing are better at doing craft projects with the kids mm -hmm. and others are better at um, like helping with other logistics. Right. It's hard when you're grieving and you are exhausted. You don't have this energy to think to yourself, okay, what do I need for myself today? Exactly. You know, that it's not there. So. Right, so a specific offer is more helpful than, oh, let me know if I could do anything. Okay, so can I walk your dog or can I something? I can help with kid transportation um, and these are the days I'm available or I can just handle all of it and you let me know when you don't need it. Right. And they can say no and, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah, and they'll register the willing, the intent. Right. Yeah.